hello and good morning everyone and welcome to my channel it is your girl cassandra olivia in today's video i have a new hair color client her name is cairo shout out to you so we did a consultation about a week and a half prior to her appointment and then i booked her for a coloring service so this is her first hair color that i'm doing and i believe it was her first hair color ever but don't quote me but anyway let's get straight into the video so you guys know from watching previous hair color videos i like to set up prior to my clients coming in so that entails me having everything ready before the client comes in if you guys want to know how to do that please see other hair color videos i just didn't add it in this one because this one was pretty long and i was trying to get it down but every client always has towels two towels that are color proof a cape as well as a backwards bib i like to make sure that i cover my floor so that way i don't get hair color on my nice light floors as well as seat covers and then i make sure i have gloves capes bowls brushes etc okay so today's color we're going in and we're going to do a multi-dimensional fall color which is going to be some browns um with copper the copper is going to be the main color and the brown is going to be the low light so i'm just going in with her base color now she is about a natural level one slash two so keep that in mind so i am going in with the 6.8 ch with a 30 volume for her ends and her mid shaft and then for her roots i'm going to do the same formula except for i'm going to replace the 30 volume with the 20 volume so you see me mixing that here and then i'm also adding all the plex if you want to see the exact measurements please feel free to zoom in or look at the scale so that way you know exactly how much i'm using and i typically do this throughout the whole process so whenever i have to remix for the ends i'm going to do the same thing mixing it just like how you guys saw so i'm just going in starting about an inch away from the root not even an inch maybe a quarter inch away from the root and I'm just going to apply this mixture with the 30 volume all around. And I'm just making sure that I thoroughly saturate the hair. So in total, this application time from start to finish took me 28 minutes. But of course, I sped that up so that way you guys aren't bored to death. But I just like to take my time and make sure that I'm taking smaller sections and I'm making sure that everything is thoroughly saturated. Now with natural hair, you do want to be mindful that the hair is very curly and sometimes thick. So you want to make sure that it's a stretch canvas and not too many um, tangles in the hair because you don't want to have hollow points where you're missing color. So I just like to pre-brush my client's hair out. She already came brushed and stretched out, which was ideal. But if you have a client that comes in with super curly hair, you can do one or two things. You can do it while it's curly, but just make sure that you add enough tension or you can blow dry the hair out, whatever is easier and more simple for you. Okay, so I can do both, but preferably I like the hair in this state. Okay. So I'm going to apply this 30 volume mixture with the 6.8 CH all over just the ends of the hair. I'm just going to do the roots last. So you just want to make sure that you do not hit the roots. OK, whenever you're doing color, you don't do the roots first. OK, the reason being is because the scalp produces heat and you don't want to have hot roots. OK, so I typically go down a level for the roots so that way it can match whatever I have on the ends, which is why I'm using a 20 instead of a 30. OK, so I'm going to apply this all throughout. And also, if you have not already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and you follow your girl on Instagram. I will also be linking everything that I use down below in the description box, as well as my custom flat irons that you can still get in time before Christmas. So make sure if you're going to order that, you get it by like this week, okay? Because we have two-day shipping available. So, and also make sure you follow me on the gram, period. So follow me on the gram at underscore Cassandra Olivia. But again, I'm going to put this uh, mixture all throughout the hair. If you guys have any questions, you already know, you can reach down below and just comment and I will try to respond as to as many as possible. And I just hope y'all know that I'm super, super, super in like work mode. It's actually 3.55 in the morning and I'm editing this video, okay? Cause I know you guys have been asking for it. I've been super busy. So I'm just trying to get this done before I go to work this morning, okay?
Side note to any of my new colorists, I do offer hair color one-on-one -on -one classes. And another thing, a lot of you guys ask in the comments where I'm located. I'm located in Delaware, okay? Bear Delaware to be specific. If you want to book with me, you can definitely go to my website, which is everywhere on my page. It's in the bio, it's on the banner, it's in the intro. Like if you just go to my website and click book, it'll have all my booking information, pricing. If you guys want to know how to price things out, hair color is not on there because it's one of those things where I give pricing at the consultation. It really depends on the client, the density, the starting level, if I'm doing a color correction, how long it's going to take, etc. So hair color is not a one size fits all price. And it actually is a pet peeve of mine when I see hair colors, a hairstylist that just charge one price for color because you can have a client that comes in with a pixie or a client that comes in with hair to her butt. And if it's the same price, you're going to end up selling yourself short or overcharging. So I just like to customize my hair color pricing based off of the client. OK, and the client's wants and needs. I do a very thorough consultation. So, so just keep that in mind. Another thing when you're doing color, you just want to make sure that you take your time. I do not like to rush when I do color. So typically, if I'm doing hair color, I will book that client out for the day or possibly two. The max three, and that's if they're all getting like a brown or a black or if it's a touch up. But for the most part, when I do hair coloring clients, I book that client out for the day and I also add more time. So for instance, I told this client it was going to take eight hours. It really took me four but I like to overbook my time just in case, worst case scenario, something happens, my client is late, um, the hair doesn't take, whatever the case may be, I don't like to rush when I'm doing color. So I like to make sure that I have more than enough time to get it done. If it takes that time, cool, my client is prepared. But if not, then, I mean, nine times out of 10, my clients get done way earlier than we expect. And they're like, okay, cool, I have the rest of my day free. So I'd rather do that than tell them it's gonna take an hour or two. And then we're looking at hour three or four and they're looking at me like, what the heck, Cassandra? So I'll just keep that in mind as well. So I'm gonna hop off of here and I'll be back in just a second when we're done applying this first color mixture. So now that that's all applied, I'm just going in and applying her root formula. This is the same exact color. It's 6.8 CH, but instead of a 30 volume, I'm going down to a 20 volume. And I'm also sure to add Olaplex in that mixture. And I'm just going to apply this all over her dark roots. 
And then after I'm done, I am going to wrap her hair in saran wrap and put a shower cap on it just to make sure that we get an adequate lift. And I did let this first color sit for about 45 minutes, okay? Because she has virgin hair, she has never had color before. Sometimes virgin hair can be resistant, and especially when it's virgin natural hair. So I like to give it a little bit more time, and the shower cap helps to use the heat from her scalp just to make sure that everything is lifting and coloring more evenly. So that's another trick that I like to add on when I'm doing color. And I will hop back on once we are done that section. So again, this sat for 45 minutes with the cap on, and now I'm just going in and mixing her lightener. You can pause this just to see how much um, powder I use. I use the Swartzkopf Blami brand, and then I'm just going in with the Swartzkopf um, developer. I believe this is a 20 volume, and then I'm just going to apply this throughout her hair while it is curly. Um, you can definitely do this in two different steps, one step, whatever you are more comfortable with, okay? Now, I know... Her hair is natural, so we have the curls and we also have the other product. But what I'm going to do is use my Manic Mesh Sheets by Framar, and I'm going to use that to separate the lightener from the brown so that way we don't have any bleeding spots and any cheetah print in her hair. We don't want to have color all over the place. So definitely, if you're not comfortable doing this, shampoo your client out, blow dry them, and then apply the lightener. Because I do this all the time, I like to just do what works for me and my clients. So I'm just going in, I'm weaving out some highlights, and then I'm adding some thorough saturation of this lightener. So that way I can make sure that we get a nice lift and we have those nice pops of copper um, that my client wants. Her, her biggest concern was that she wasn't going to be able to see the color. So um, just her watching this product, uh, process and seeing me in the mirror, she kind of was weary in the beginning because it was just taking a while. But with color, you just have to trust the process, okay? So it's looking a little iffy here. But I'm literally just going in, I'm doing some weaves, and I'm just going in with my mesh sheets. And I did run out halfway through, so you're going to see me switch to my cheetah foils. But again, I'm doing the same process. I'm just making sure that whatever I'm putting lightener on is protected away from the hair that I have the brown on because we don't want her base color to have spots in it, and we don't want to mix the lightener with the color that we already have processing. So I'm technically killing two birds with one stone by doing this. So I'm letting the brown... Um, saturate enough so that way it's lifting but I'm also going in with this lightener so that way it'll lift it even more and then once I was done this lightener I did tone her at the bowl with a red can I used a shade seven I can put it down in the description I don't remember off the top of my head but I used a red can toner just on the um, orange parts or the lightener parts just to get that orange to pop through I know this might seem like a lot I'm just trying to make sure that I do a thorough explanation of what I'm doing so right here you see me weaving I'm going to use a frame R foil to separate that weave add the lightener and I did let this lightener sit for about 20 minutes it is a 20 volume I just wanted to make sure that we lift her hair low and slow I don't like to rush the process when I'm lightening hair especially virgin hair because it can go left very fast so I prefer to take the longer method um, and I always de describe this to my client as using a slow cooker versus using a microwave. When you cook in a slow cooker, everything comes out more savory. It's perfect. It's seasoned versus when you throw something in a microwave, sometimes you pull it out and it'll be hot in the middle or cold in the middle, hot on the outside. And we don't want that. We want a very even color. So that's why I do the steps that I'm doing. And I hope this helps somebody out there and I'm just not running for no reason. So I'm going to finish applying this all over. We almost done. I did shampoo her at the bowl. I didn't realize that my phone died. I do record all my videos on my iPhone. I know that sounds crazy. A lot of people think I use fancy devices. I do not. I record everything on my iPhone, 10s Max to be specific, and I also edit on my iPhone. So um, my phone died halfway through. I didn't realize, but I did tone her 
at the bowl with this copper color. And this is what went over the lightener. So now she's all rinsed out. We did her Olaplex treatment at the shampoo bowl. I'm, go I'm just going in with Olaplex number six. And I'm putting this all throughout her hair just to keep it healthy. I like to use Olaplex from start to finish within this process. And then I'm just going to go ahead and blow dry her out. I didn't put the whole blow dry in because this is a very long video. And I didn't want to bore you guys to death. But I just want to show you guys how this color looks. We did opt for a darker root. She wanted her roots to look pretty natural. So we did color her all over. But we didn't go too far up just because when her hair grows out, she wants to be able to rock it a couple of different ways. So this is just how the color is looking so far. And I am going to go in with my custom Cassandra Olivia flat irons. Make sure you check out the discount code. It is YTCAST10. I always put it in the description as well. So that way you can get a discount when you order your irons from me. And I also have a how to build your clientele course in the description as well. So if you guys are interested in being booked and busy all 2022, then invest in yourself. The course is only $50. I mean, why not? So I'm just pressing her out. Then once I'm done, I'm just going to bend her ends. I didn't have to trim anything because she had just had her hair trimmed about a couple weeks prior to coming to me. She did mention that her scalp does get a little dry. So we're just making sure that we are into hair care. I am applying some Miracle Drops just to help with any dryness and irritation. And then I'm going to add in the very final clips of me just bumping her ends and then us recording her after we are done. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for listening. It is now four o'clock in the morning. So I'm so happy that I got this done. I'm getting ready to go back to sleep and then wake up by 6.30 to get the kids on the bus. And then after that, go straight to work. So I hope you guys appreciate the time that it takes for me to do this. And I love each and every one of you. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Follow your girl on the gram. Comment down below if you're going to recreate this. And if you do recreate it, please tag me and send me a video on Instagram. I appreciate every single last one of my subscribers and followers and supporters. And I hope everybody has a wonderful and productive day. And I will see you in the next video. Bye. Thank you